There's a lot of national conversation in labor and other places about giving adult learners credit for the things they already know so that they can complete their education quicker, faster, less expensive, and they already know the information because many of them have worked either in a job that provided that kind of training and they're doing it day over day without a degree or they're learning it other places and applying it. We wanted to make sure that leaders, presidents, system office, and people at institutions, meaning leaders who had influence, were really going to be able to take this in and help us implement. Because if we didn't have that, it would be a great idea marginalized. Maybe it would work in a certain program area, but it wouldn't work institutionally. And what we found was there was a lot of people we needed to engage in this conversation, or it would never scale. So I think key to this innovation first was who are those stakeholders in the system, and how do we help them understand their role and the role in the bigger structure of credit for prior learning. In the research, we found faculty being the critical buy-in spot. They're the single point where every student will have to go through. Websites, advisement, all can be in bigger structures in your organization, but your learning space often goes through a single faculty member. So we brought them in and really wanted to hear their voice, and then deconstruct what they said put it back together with their voice and the things that they said were important. The other innovation that I would say we brought on was really having institutions think about their culture, think about their leadership, what would help that group support this model. And indeed, some colleges were all in day one, and some colleges were in in theory and not in application, and some were sort of stepping back saying, I'll wait and see. And then we said, let's do a summit at a system-wide level. They said, we're going to take two of our education directors, which is a, a position we have at our system office that help facilitate work through alignment and quality and you know all the things that education lines up, credits and courses, to lead credit for prior learning. We said, great. We'll bring from TACT all the great work people are doing, have done. You bring your influence from the system office. We'll all get together and see where we could go collectively. And that was a turning point. Many people then could see colleges making it work, finding ways to at least operationalize it. And many at this event said, we need to find a person to lead this. I would have taken the initial assessment we had colleges do. Where are you in credit for prior learning? And I would have put that on a bigger platform quicker. I would have put that out in front of presidents and vice presidents, provosts, and deans, and had people at the colleges bring that to their teams quicker. We sort of did it in a tact framework as opposed to in an institution cultural context. I think the second piece that we would do, even though we brought faculty in early, I'd bring them in day one. The work we're going to have faculty lead and help us with is so important to this process. It needs to run in parallel with building your website, and getting your buy-in of your business model. Those all have to move simultaneously. We wanted for our learners to have it be simple, speedy, and seamless. And those are advocational words um, that all have a process in order for that all to happen. Now that I know that, we'd come up with that now. Get everybody lined up and try to advance that way as opposed to doing it sort of incrementally. And that's the other thing we learned. It's a system of people in a relay race like you would run in a track event. It's not the efficiency of how fast you run, it's how efficient you hand off the baton. And that efficiency is what makes the system work. So once we figured that out, knowing that I would design it with that in mind. We handed all the work we did when our round two was done directly to round three. So they took all the training we invested in the front end and could take it longer in another industry sector. And most often across the college design. This was an institution process. And we now, in Wisconsin, have many things that we didn't have at the beginning. We did have a policy. We didn't have implementation at 16 endpoints. We also have, at at least half the colleges, a point person to lead all of these people that are working through credit for prior learning, faculty training, advisor training, website development, marketing and advertising. That has sustained into round three and into round four. They didn't have to build it. They could just advance it. 
It's a, it's a flat fee. We all charge the same, so we do not have students having to feel like they need to shop for credit for prior learning because colleges have different pricing structures. If I grant credit for prior learning at my institution and you're going to another institution, it goes with you in that institution in the, in the technical college system in Wisconsin transfers. Uh, we have two ed directors that are specifically designed to lead this effort from the state to keep it going. Two years ago, they provided grant funding for four colleges to advance faculty training. We trained over 120 faculty and all have bought in, all have built tools, and I can say from our college's data, we have eclipsed, as of our fall semester, the number of students and the number of credits awarded in credit for prior learning. 